Hello guys, today I'm going to show you guys a pool manager which will handle all your object pooling in your Unity's game project. So I think you know about what is object pooling. Basically, initially we will create all the object prefect first and reuse in the game without create each time we need to use it. So let's get started. As you can see, I have prepared a two sprite over here, a star sprite and a square sprite. So let's make a prefect for it. So I will call this um, star. Then this will be a square. So okay, cool. Let me drag to the prefect folder. Now we can remove it. Okay, now we need to create an MD game object. We will call this pool manager. Now we need to create a new script for this pool manager. We will call this a pool manager script also. Okay, double click and edit. Okay, for this pool manager, we will be using a singleton class for it. So if you have no idea what is a singleton class, you are feel free to check one of my previous tutorials which have more details about the implementation on the singleton class. So, okay, cool. Let's go back to our pool manager. Firstly, we are implement the singleton class by placing a pool manager inside. Then, now, as we have, uh, we will create a manager that will handle multiple types of object pooling. So, we need to define an enum for it and we will call this uh, pool object type okay of course the first one will be the star and followed by the square okay cool now we need to have a class we will call this pool info which will store the information on a single type of object so public class pool info and this will be a serializable class as we need to configure it in our inspe inspector so fix the error by using a using system then we will have to define a few uh, variables over here the first one will be a type pool object type then we call it type followed by an integer amount which is the amount to the total amount of the object you want to create initially in a specific pool so the third field will be the game object which is the prefect the prefect we are needed to create the object lastly will be a container uh, where you want to create the object okay cool now I think we need to have one more field and this field will be public list game object which is a pool itself a new list to store all the object inside this pool okay cool mm, yep let's uh, see now we have our class ready then let's remove the update method we are not using it so on the start method firstly we need to fill the pool first means fill out based on the number of amount we configure at our pool manager so let's create a fill pool method then this fill pool method will take a pool info parameter Then we will on the start we will look through all types of pool. Uh, I mean all types of pool available. So now we need to define a serializable field, which is a public field, a list of pool info. This will this is a field we will configure later. We will call this list of pool. Now we will look through the list of pool info 
using a for loop integer i equal to 0 less than or equal to length i sorry less than the length then we will call the fill pool by placing the info inside okay cool now now we will complete the fill pool method so for the fill pool method we will create and the how many objects based on the amount we define so using a for loop over here look through the amount then we are define a object instance equal to now for now then we are set the object instance to instantiate the pool prefect pool info dot prefect then placing it on the container transform okay cool now of course we need to set the object instance active to false because which the pool object should be disabled on default then we will move the position somewhere out of the screen we need to define a new vector we are call it default position mm, negative 100 will do as uh, you can use something else make sure it is not on the screen so we will set it to default position okay cool lastly we will add this object instant mm, inside our pool this should be info.pool okay cool now our fill pool method is ready now we can go to our unity and try to test it so let the add the pool manager script so let's try to configure the pool info setting the first one will be star correct then we place a star prefect set the amount to 5 maybe then now we need to create a container for it we will call this contain star container uh, let me create the other for the square container so call this square container okay go back to our pool manager place a a container inside mm, this pool should be hidden from the inspector so we are use a high in inspector keyword as this should not be should not allowed to be configured okay cool now we are configured for the square uh, set the amount to 10 maybe then replace the square prefect Place a square container. Cool. Now we are ready to test it. Click the play button. As you can see, our star object is created correctly for the amount and also the square container. So, um, yep. Now we will go back to our pool manager. Try to complete the uh, method to use to get the object from the pool so let's create a method public void not void sorry should be game object we will call this get pool object which we are based on which what type of pool then now we need to have another method to get the pool by the type so let's create a private method we shall call this pool uh, get the pool info we call this get pool by type then of course the pool object type as the parameter then we will look through the list of pool info 
and we look for the type we want. It's type equal to list of full dot type, then we are return it. Okay, cool. Else we return a null. Okay, now we have a method to get our pool info based on the type. So let's declare a pool info selector equal to get pool by type, placing the type inside. Then let us also define the pool itself. This game object pool reference to the selected dot pool. Okay, cool. Now we need to create another game object instance. Game object object instance equal to null for first. Now we check if pool if there is there is any object inside the pool, then we will get the last index last index of the object in the pool, which we are determined by pool.count minus one, then we remove it from the pool. Cool. Okay, now else if there is nothing inside the pool, we need to create a new instance for it. So object instance equal to pool equal instantiate the based on the selected prefect and also the selected container. Okay, then finally we will return the object instance. Hmm, should be object instance, not pool. Okay, cool. Now we have a method to get the object from the pool. So after we have finished use of our object, we need to place it back to pool. We will now create another method for big boy. We call this cool object, which will give us a game object and also a type to identify which pool is belong to. We will call this pool object type. Yep, true. Then let us copy this so because we will be using it here. Okay. Mm. Let me think a while first. The first thing when we cool the object we need to do is to disable the object first. Right. Okay. We will disable the object by setting object.setActive equal to false. Then we will reset it position. Object.transform.position back to our default position. Cool. Now we have the pool info by type. Then we will check if the pool contain the object. If the pool does not contain the object, then we will place it back to the pool. Okay. Cool. Now we have our get pool object method and also cool object method ready. So basically, we are ready to test it. But, um, to test it, we need to have some trigger. So let's create a script. We call this generic for the generic button. So double click to edit it. So um, let's remove the start and update method. We are not using it. Create a method we call click. In this click method, we will create a pool object, a random pool object. So we will call this generally routine <coughs> so we shall take a type mm, so up in the start of this method we will get a object from the pool based on this type so we will be calling the pool manager dot instant dot get pool object we can refer to our pool manager is based on because of the singleton class so now the object we can define the position of the object ourselves. So let's set it to some random vector. Uh maybe two negative two to two. 
for the x axis point negative 3 to 3 for the y axis since our screen the y axis is much more longer okay cool then we need to set the enable the object by setting it active to true okay now we wait for two seconds then assuming this after two seconds we are be finished with the object we place it back to our pool itself by calling the cool up object method so passing the object back to the, the pool and provide a type for it to specify now we can start the call loading we are called uh, this will be a general loading um, as the pool object type we will create a random integer random dot range 0 to or to 1 I mean then if equal to 0 then we will generate um, it will generate a pool object type of square else will be the star okay cool right. yep that's it for this test button so let's go to the our generate button let me add the script look for the general script add reference to it on click look for the click method okay cool now we are ready to test click the play button as you can see our pool object is gen uh, created correct initialized correctly 5 and 10 star now we click we are generated get the star from the pool and show it on the screen right cool now yep let me try more now let me spam on spam a bit on the star container because when the pool is used up it will create a new star clone as you can see just now let me try more a bit now true see so the clone can be expand in on the runtime but initially we can define based on the uh, i mean estimate amount that we will use it so with this pool manager you does not need to create another i mean pool object script for your new type of object you just need to go to your pool manager and try to expand the pool info list over here and place it i mean place your container to generate at wherever you want so i think that's it for this tutorial I hope this tutorial helps you, if it did, please give this tutorial a like and also subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.